hey guys welcome to today's episode of Scandi tutorials today we're going to learn some really cool photo manipulation techniques how to add lights onto an image and also how to use some custom paintbrushes too i hope you enjoy this tutorial as much as i enjoyed making it for you so let's get straight into it the first thing you want to do is drag and drop the image that you're going to use into photoshop Now before I started to edit this image, I did actually cut the background out by using the quick selection tool. If you want to know how to use the quick selection tool then just watch this video here and it's just a walkthrough guide of how to use that but make sure you save the image as a .png as well so the background is transparent and you're going to need a transparent uh, image for this tutorial. So anyway getting back into it, you want to create a couple of new layers on top of your original layer so I'm just going to create three and I'm going to fill the top one with black so select the paint bucket and then fill that one with black and then I'm going to take that one down to the bottom like so so I've just made a background then you want to turn off your front layer and click on the layer above and press B on the keyboard to go over to your brush tool then in the brush menu, you want to select a really soft brush. So I'm going to go with that one. And then I'm going to select white to kind of bring in um, a brightness in the, in the background. So make the brush bigger by using the brackets under the plus and return key. And I'm probably going to go with probably something about that bright. And then just kind of build it in just by making the brushes smaller so i'll just go smaller two smaller again smaller just so it kind of creates like a a glow around a white light so that's on that layer then you want to turn that off and go to the top layer go back over to your brushes and then you want to load some custom brushes in now you can use the, the brushes that are already in Photoshop but if you want to use the same ones as me the link is in the description for the download and if you want to know how to install custom brush presets then just click this video here and it will show you how to do that as well. So the ones that I'm going to use is Ink Splatter. So I've got a couple loaded up here just so you can see. Not that one. See that was very pixelated so I wouldn't recommend using the ones that Photoshop gives you anyway so just scroll down to find these brushes and there's one for example so I'll just turn that back on go on to the top one turn that off and these these ones come through like really strong so I would recommend downloading them they are a really good uh, brush preset to have but on this layer, on the top layer, you want to kind of put a like a mark down on this side. So I'm just going to do that, like that, and then turn the opacity down to about 45, and then bring through the original light. So you want to make sure that this this part here it can't be seen because if it goes over then it doesn't kind of look realistic from a from a light perspective so I'll probably just bring this down a little bit more just so it kind of disappears as the light comes in we will adjust it a little bit later on anyway but just kind of get a rough idea by keeping that as that so we're starting to we're starting to build a picture now let's bring this to the top and as you can see it kind of looks like there's a light coming from the background and then we've got this at the back here as well so I'm gonna put something down in the bottom right hand corner I think I'll go with a orange color that I'm gonna take from the pearls the beads beaded necklace whatever it is but if you want to grab a color just press alt and then left click until you find the one that you want so I'll stick with that bring my brush size down and then I'm going to put this on the top actually, so I'll make a new layer on top. And then just kind of make a splash effect like that. I think I'll try and make it a bit brighter than that. Yep, 
Yep, I'd say I was pretty much happy with that. Then I'm going to get a kind of blue colour to come from the back, maybe something similar to this part of the necklace. And it's always good to try and use what you've got in the image if you're going to add things to it, so obviously, you know, it looks better to colour match. And then I'll add a new layer on top and put that below. And I think I'll change my brush to that one. Let's make it a bit smaller. And have that coming out from the back. And then if you want to make a light to kind of show on the front, you want to go back to your original brushes. Grab something really light again. And then choose one of the colours that you're going to use. I think I'm going to use this blue. And then I'm going to build through to white. So I'll just use the brackets to bring it down a bit. And I'll have this on the top actually. So I'll just make a, a new layer to go on top of that. So this is showing right at the front. And then just left click. And move slightly towards the white. Bring it down about two sizes. And then click again. And then go further towards the white. And click again. And then just keep building up until you get all the way to white. So it kind of gives it um, like a light effect. So now we've kind of finished the picture. But we want to like make the light shine on her face so it kind of blends in a little bit more so if you want to adjust one single layer so say for example I just wanted to adjust this orange then I just have it selected and then I click on the adjustment mask at the bottom and then click curves and you can bring it down for darks and then up for lights and that was for the whole image, sorry, not just one. So say I could do that, then it kind of makes the light look like it's shining on her face. If you wanted to do a single layer, then go to Image, Adjustments, and then Curves through there. And as you can see, it'll just edit that, that one kind of orange part. So if you wanted to make that kind of a bit more stronger and a bit more prominent then I just make that a little bit darker and then that shows like it's like it's at the front and now you can see from the lights that I've made at the back they really do shine and it really brightens up on that side of her face so that's kind of how you blend in and also how you use um, custom brushes for photo manipulation in Photoshop I hope you like this video guys I hope it makes editing a bit more easier and a bit more fun and as always please like share and subscribe to my channel